Good morning, everyone. This is Bremster, and this is the first puzzle I've recorded in quite a while. I know that you've been seeing puzzles. I preloaded a whole heap, um, and yeah, um, now I'm taking a break from stuff um, in order to um, try and fill some gaps. The problem series is not gone. Um, it's just like everything on my channel at the moment, it's going to be sporadic. Um, but I, um, thank you, channel update. <laughs> thank you, Virtual and everyone else who is involved in putting out the channel update for me. Um, as you heard, uh, my father is now terminal with lung cancer um, and is needing 24-7 palliative care. And my mother and I are providing most of that care at the moment. We're getting incredible support from medical professionals and the community, but um, it, the people he needs is us. So um, I've taken indefinitely from work. Um, thank you to work for making that so easy. Um, and... Yeah, everything else is secondary right now. But as I've been told over and over, this is a marathon, not a race. So I need to take some time to myself. And what I'm deciding to do right now is record a puzzle. Um, so thank you to everyone who made that work. Um, but as for the content that's going to come out and when, I'm I'm just going to do what feel I feel I can do. Um, so, yeah. Um, <sighs> Yeah, <laughs> um, my thumbnails won't be up to their normal quality, probably. I, I'm just going to do what I can. If it's just some text with the puzzle on it, then that's what you're going to get. Uh, we'll see how it all goes. Um, I don't remember what I mentioned in my last videos. Uh, yeah, if, if there's questions, please pass them through. Virtual might be a good person. Comments, um, Some comments are getting through to me. I'm not reading them, um, and I'm sorry about that, but I just... I, <laughs> I, I don't have much bandwidth um, and I'm still getting some stuff from YouTube, which is uncomfortable. So I'm ha I'm just ignoring all of that right now. And I just want to record a puzzle. So that's what I'm going to do. This is Working Title by Skunkworks. I really like this. Um, I'm, I'm assuming at some point this puzzle was written down as, yeah, we're, this is just the working title and they just kept it. And I think that's great. Uh, this is the sort of thing I would likely do. Um, I, I've never done it. <laughs> I'm not on a puzzle. I've definitely done it on um, some of my role-playing stuff from like 20 years ago. I think there was a forest that was called Placeholder Forest or something. Yeah, it was really fun. Um, anyway, and that became a running joke. Anyway, um, so how does this one work? This is a nightmare puzzle, and I've been looking forward to doing another nightmare puzzle. I remember being bad at the first one, so uh, I'm out of practice. I haven't solved anything in well over a week, and I'm, I'm exhausted. So this could be a fun ride. Hopefully you'll do better at the puzzle than I do. So normal Sudoku rules apply. In every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. We have the XV pairs rules, which means every uh, cell separated by Vs must sum to 5. Cell separated by Xs must sum to 10. Not all Xs and Vs are necessarily given, which means that it would be perfectly fine, I'm assuming, for these two to sum to 5. I don't know, I haven't checked, but maybe these cells sum to 5. The, the grid doesn't tell us that they can't. Similarly, these may be able to sum to 10. Um, this These cells... this could be a nine and these could sum to 10. I don't know. Um, it is legally possible um, until we solve the grid and find out maybe it's not. Um, nightmare, and this is the interesting bit. Cell separated by a knight's move, and a knight's move is if I mark this cell in blue, any cell that is, um, a, a knight's move is two in one direction and one in another. Um, I, the weird thing is explaining a knight's move to people who don't know what it is, I always find tricky because it's a knight's move. Um, it, but this shape in any direction from that cell, which is any of those cells, cannot um, be summed to 5 or 15. So um, those two cells, because they are that shape apart, cannot sum to 5 or 15. Those two cells cannot sum to 5 or 15. Those two cells cannot sum to 5 or 15. Um, and I'm betting that I'm going to put a 5 in the middle, like in every complex grid, but we'll find out. Um, 
yeah, so that's how you do it. But any way I draw that shape um, from that central cell, and that's true for any cell in the grid. Um, yeah, so I'm not explaining as well as normal. I am exhausted. Anyway, restarting the grid to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. Now, I'm trying to decide whether I want to do different colorings of XV because I know all of these are low. And as I said, I am, and therefore all of the, uh, there's more low here. Therefore, all of these, the X's attached to them are high. Now, I can actually mark these as different flavors of low and high. So I could, for example, change this one to purple or give it a purple slash because this and this have to be different. Um, actually, what I might do is I might use A and B. Um, I, I'm sorry, everyone. I'm not going to be quick. This is going to be an A and this is going to be a B because these can't be the same. So if this is one, four, this is two, three. If this is two, three, this is one, four. This can't be B because there's already a B in the box. So this is A. There's already two A in this row. So this becomes B. There's already two B in the column. So this becomes A. This can't be B because there's already two Bs in the row. So this becomes A. Now this may have more advanced coloring than I think. Now this can't be two, uh, two, three, or no, hang on, it can be. I'm thinking of anti, there'll be some trick with nightmare that I am not thinking of. Now cells that are a knight's move apart can't sum to five, which means that this cell, is it this cell? Those two cells, right. Those have to be the same. Those are the same digit. So what I might do is change B to C because I know that these are the same digit because these are the same pairs. And if this was two, these if these are both two, three, these can't sum to five. And if this was this digit, then those two digits would sum to five. So what I could do is I can change both of those to B. So this is A, this is B. And this can't be B. So this is B, because if this was B, these would sum to five. Now, this can't be A. And this can't be A. So one of those two is A. And one of those two is B. But I've got this one here. So this can't be four. But it could be one. There's a, probably a much easier trick to start this than I am seeing. Hmm. But one is in one of these three. If, because it can't go here because of that one. If this is a one, this is a four. Now I know I can actually do C and D as well because, for example, if this is C, this is D, this is C because I can't put them in the same row and this becomes D. So I get all of that. This this ah this is a low digit because this has to be a high digit because it sees all four of the lows. So um and anything on an X is a low digit. And it can't be C and it can't be B. 
And it can't be C because it's CC or because it's a knight move from D. And it can't be B because it's a knight move from A. So this is A or D. And it's not an A. This is a D. Right. If this was a, an A, this would be the the X the X partner of A, but this is the X partner of A. So this is the X partner of D. Now, if this is low, can this be a low digit? If it is at C, one of the, one of these one of these has to be high. Now, I'm going to mark this. This is a yellow B. So I've got both Bs here. I just made a mistake. Because I didn't fix this V clue. I just made a mistake. Okay, so I need to roll back. So this is A or D, but this, this one is A because it's in the same row and this one is actually B. So this one can be A. Damn. But this is the partner of yellow partner of B. This is the yellow partner of B. So the yellow B partner is in here somewhere. I don't know if this is hard or if I'm just doing, or if I'm just out of it. So this is a yellow A or D. So maybe I can figure out that. Now, I, this can't be A. And this can't be A, but they're the only... <sighs> thing is while these can't be a a could be one because i could put a there and that could still be one Now, I've got to put... Oh, no, I don't. I don't know anything about it. Now, blue... Oh, hang on. Blue C. Where does low C go in here? Can't go here because it would be seen by that. Can't go here because it would be seen by that. So it's in one of those two. It can't be there because it would be seen by that. This is low C. So these two cells are both seen by that one. That's not low, and these are seen by that one. This is low C, so this is high C's. I'm traveling the high C's already. So this is not high D. Because, hang on, is that right? Because C goes with D. And the partner of C and D because there's the 5 and the 15 rule. So I believe the partners of the 5s are going to sum to 15. So 2 and 3, the partners of those are 7 and 8, which sum to 15. And 1 and 4, the partners of those are 6 and 9, which sums to 15. So the, the blue C and the blue D can't see each other, and the yellow C and the yellow D can't see each other. So this can't be yellow D. This is a high digit. What am I even thinking about? This is a high digit. This has been there for ages. Sorry, everyone. And I know it's not a C now for multiple reasons. This is a low digit.
Actually, one is not A. I've got that clearly. Feels like there's just one clue missing to make this... flow for someone who's as out of it as I am. Now this couldn't, I can't even see why this couldn't be B anymore. Oh, because of that A. Are these, this, I've got four highs to put in here and if I put them both down here, this becomes five because this will see all four highs and four lows. But five is completely unrestricted in this. Low A is in one of those because I've got two low and actually low B is in one of those. That's more useful because low B is one of these two because B sees those and B sees those. So B and C are both in here because I've got B and C and B and C. So B and C low are both in there. B can't be there. So low B is one of those two. Which gives me this, doesn't it? Because if this is, if low B is, no, it doesn't. Because these can just flip flop. But B and C are in here. But does that mean that has to be one of them? No, I don't think it does. This can't be B because it would C A. So low B is in here, but C, D is not restricted. So there's nothing I can do with that. Now I know A is in here somewhere and it can't be there because it would see that B. So A is up here and B is up here. But because there's no anti-XV or anything, that doesn't tell me anything. A is up here. Can I tell anything about D? I don't think I can. Like, I can see it's not here. So this is either high or five. Okay, C is in one of these. It's not there. So C is in one of those two. Because C would see that. So if this is low, it's not C, it's B or D. But it doesn't have to be low. This could... Hang on. A can't, low A can't be in any of these because it can't be there because it sees B and it can't be here in these two because I've already got all the lows. Low A can't be here, low A can't be here. Okay, so low A is down to these. It's not here because it sees all the lows. So low A is not there. It's down to these three. That's the same in this row, I think. It can be here though. So am I going to get swordfish? Can't be here, can't be here. So it's in one of those. Actually, this is jellyfish. Can't be, or it could be in those. No, it can't be here. So it's here, can't be here, or here. It can be here, here, or here. No, it can't be in those two, because they both see B. 
And that one said, this is I. I can't put A in any of those. That one is seen by an A. Those two are seen by Bs. That can't be an A because it sees a B. That sees an A and that sees an A. This isn't a low digit and that sees a B. This is low A. Got to go back into letter mode. What's going on? Modes. This is low A. This is low B. So this is CD, which means this is A or B, which means this is A or B. How do I narrow that down? A is in one of those two. The low that's on this is C or D as well, because this is A and B. So the low that's on this is C or D. This can't be C. This can't be C. The low that's on this is D. This is a D pair. So this is a high-low D pair. I don't think this is helping me. I mean, maybe it is, but uh, that's not what I meant to do. Undo, undo, just turn off green. Okay. I'd actually looked through the submission for this puzzle and was told that it was an easier nightmare puzzle so i pulled it out i was going to do one of the more of that a couple more of the hamilton series this puzzle may actually kill the channel Because I don't know what to do. Because there's nothing I can see. So there's... Hang on, that's a low... No, that could be a high D, which means this could be the low D. So I don't know anything about it. So I've got a D, low D in here and a low D in here. So there's a low D in here, and it's not a night move from a low C. But it's, there's no low C even vaguely near it. I've got to put a 5 in one of those, but 5 is not impacted by anything. There's a low C in one of those, and it's not there. Low, that's low C, because I've got low C here and low C here. So this, this is a D tile, because it can't be high or low D. Well, neither of these can be C, so this can't be C, and that neither of them can be A or B. So this is a D tile, and this can't be a low C. So this is low C. don't understand why this would be submitted to me. Considering this seems to be an overall colouring puzzle, which again, my testers know I struggle with. I Even with a five to start being able to block stuff out.
So I just got a message from my mum. I'm going to read that. I'm not going to bother pausing the camera. Okay. Um, sorry, with everything going on, when I get messages from my parents' house, I <laughs> drop everything and read them. Um, it's finding the places to look. Like I don't have a low D in here. Low D can't go here or here or here. So it's in one of those. Now, I could possibly start doing some colouring and trying to see if there's any particular pressure on low C from those. Like, these are here for a reason, but it almost feels like they're disambiguators at the end because I can't get any pressure onto these from them until I get more... Like, until I can narrow down the positions of lows in this box, it's like, I know there's no low in here. If there's lows in this row, they are C and D. But lows up here can be pretty much anything. Like, that can't be... I, Okay, low D in this column. It's not down here and it's not here because C and D here are C and D here. So D is in one of these two. And low C is in one of those two. So if I knew the order of that, like if that was D, this couldn't be C and I would have C here. Maybe, okay, one, one of these is high C because I can't put high C down here and these are all low. So one of these is high C, one of these is high C. But if one of these is high C, does that impact those? I mean, if that's high C, that impacts that. But there's Nightmare does so little until you lock something in. It, it almost does nothing. Like, until you get, like, this is specifically something. Like, while these are ambiguous, and these are ambiguous, and these are ambiguous. And even when they're placed... So I've got to put another low A, B in here. It's got to be there. So I can't put a, another low A. Right, low A is not here. Low A um, is not here. Low B is not here because there's low B. Low B is not here. I can't put low A or B here and these are details. This is a low A, B. Right, so that's another low A, B. This A makes this B. Sorry, it means that this can't be B and it must be A. So this can't be A and it must be B. So this is high B. Okay, high B can't go next to high, uh, be a knight's move away from high A. So this is B. D is still somewhere in here. But that's not being reached by like, this isn't seeing any of those. This isn't seeing any of those. 
high B is now, low B is now here because BB puts it over here, but this can't be B because B would see that. So low B is over here and it's not here. This is low B. So the other low AD, I can't put a low AD here. I can't put a low AD here because it sees them. So it has to be here. This is a low AD. So these are the two low ADs. This is actually A. A, A knocks out all of those and that A knocks out this one. This is low A, this is low, and this is a D tile. Which means this is actually high D, not low D, and this is actually low D, not high D. Okay, that's some progress. That makes this high D because I can't put high D in there. These are all low, so this is high D. High A is one of those two, because I can't put it there because it would be next to B. High C, yeah, so this is A, C, and 5. So this is A or C. Which is not telling me which one of these is which. Hang on, it can't be C. Because if it's C, it's, it's a ninth move away from D. So it can't be C, D, or B. This is A. High A is 7. So low A is 3. I think that's right. Low A is 3. Low B... I'm going with it. Low B is 2. I'm still in letter mode. I'm surprised that even worked. So C and D are a 1, 4 pair. So what I'm going to do here, and I'm going to make these 8. So this is the 1. This is the 4. I'm going to go to center mode and I'm going to put one, four, one, four, one, four, six, nine. I'm, I'm going to do it. It's the one, four, six, nine. Now we know this, I should have done that earlier, but whatever. I kind of want to get rid of the coloring, but so this is six, nine and one, four. This is one, four. Another message from my parents. Okay, don't need to worry about that one. Okay, so eight is in one of these two and I can start using some traditional, and it's not there because that would be 15. That's the eight, okay. So now I'm starting to be able to use the digits I've got. One is in here somewhere. That's not. It's not there because I've got a 1-4 pair looking at it. Th there will be other tricks I'm missing, I am sure. But we'll... I mean, it's taken me 30 minutes to get this far. And I'm sure everyone will solve this faster than me. Right now, I'm... I won't say happy, but I'm pleased to just be solving. Um... Where's eight in this row? This is an eight. That's got to be an eight. That's not an eight because of reasons. There's already an eight in this box. This is the eight. Let's make that yellow. So these are one, two, three, four, five, and seven. 
Now, seven can't be a knight's move from an eight, but I don't see one. I do have eight in one of those two, though. I'm sorry to everyone if I'm just overly grumpy, but I am overly grumpy. This probably was easier than I made it out, and I apologize for that. Now, where am I looking now? So I've got digits now, so this should be a little bit easier. I've got to put a three in one of those. I've got to put a two right there. That's a two. Like twos and twos and twos. Like I'm just... <laughs> to justify everything in my brain. This is a two, so two is up here. This is a two by Sudoku. So two, 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 two. Yep, I've got four twos looking into that box. Is that all the twos? Right, so that might give me something on threes. That Neither of those threes are seeing a two by knight's move that I'm seeing. They probably are. <laughs> I'm just completely oblivious to it. No three there, no three there. No three there. No th oh, no three in either of those. That's a three. That's just a three. Which means that's not a three, and that's a three. I'm hoping this puzzle has the solution embedded. I didn't even check. Um, now, eight is in one of those two. That's... The eights may mean that I can play sevens. That's the the trick I've got to remember. Right, seven is not here. So seven is in one of those. It's not here because that would see that eight. So seven is in one of those two. And the trick is to remember that that's not a thing. Those can't be seven. That can't be seven. Those two cells see that one. Those two cells see that eight. So seven is in one of those two. Can seven be there? Because if it can't, I can place that seven. I don't see why it can't. Four is restricted in box two. I can't put four here, and I can't put four here. So four is in one of those two. Four would be away from one. Now, I can't put one there or in any of those. So one is in those three. But I don't get the same restriction like I can't turn around and say well by knight's move that means I can't put one there because it sees both of those fours because it just sees that one this is nuts so these are five six and nine not eight and nine, five, six and
it really does have to be sevens and eights because I've done almost everything I can with ones and fours, I think. Like one and four can't be here. So twos and threes, are they pretty much done? Twos and threes are done. So ones and fours are where I've got a lot of pressure. So I've got one and four to place in here. Because I can't even say that it can't be there because these could be the same digit. How did I get seven down to there? Oh, okay. Where does seven go in this column? Seven is in one of those two. Because I can't put it there because it would see that eight. That means that's not eight because those sevens both see that. So that's not eight and that is eight. Which means eight is in one of those two. And has done nothing over there. Does that do anything? Does that do anything? No, it doesn't see any of those. Or any of those, because they're the ones that placed that. Yeah, this is an appropriately named constraint. Yowza. This is a five or a seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, this is a five or a seven. Is there a reason it can't be a seven? If this is a seven, this is an eight, because I couldn't put the eight there. That would put eight in one of those two. So, I wish I could have kept the corner marks. So, blue D is in one of these two, because this is blue D, and blue C is in one of these two. Blue D is in one of these two. Blue C is in one of these two. Blue D. I do, uh, it can't be there or there. So it's in one of those. Th no, it can't be there. It's in one of those two. Here I'm missing blue C. Can't be in either of those or in either of those. That's a blue C. That blue C sees those and that blue D sees those two cells. This is a blue C. It's not a seven. That is a blue C and is not mode changing is seven. So this is seven which is a high digit that makes these one, four and five. But this is a blue C, which is a one or a four. This is a five. This is a blue C or D. And it's a C.
So D is up here, and it's not here. So blue D is in one of those. Which isn't news. Oh, Brimster, the complete and utter twonk knuckle. See those two cells? They happen to be a knight's move apart. That's been a four for so long. Which goes down making this a one, which makes this a nine, which makes this a six, which makes this a four. Which makes this a one, which makes this a four, which makes this a one, which means this is not a one and this is a one. Makes this a one, this a four, this a six. There is no six in those, so this is the six. This is the four, this is the one. Four is now right there. Four, four, and four see all of those cells. So that is a four. Now, this is a pair, one, two, three, four, five, six, and nine. And this can't be a nine because it sees that six. So that's a six and that's a nine. Either way, they are both high. These are now five, seven, and eight. Still need to put a four in this column. And that's just placed. Four can't go in the same box as a four, and four can't go a knight's move away from a one. That is a four. So one, two, three, four, five, and nine go in there, and that nine resolves them, five and nine. So this is a triple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And there's no seven there because of this eight. There's no six there because of this nine. Uh, maybe <laughs> I'm not seeing it. These are five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, five, six, seven. That's not seven. Got to put a nine in one of those two, but I'm not sure about a six placement to resolve that. The five, six, seven, triple turns around and makes that nine and that five. Now this nine, I've already got the sixes around it, so it's not doing much. This triple, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and nine. There's no six here. There's no nine here. There's no seven there because of that eight. This is the six. And this is a seven, nine pair. Six is high. Actually, all of these are high. Seven, nine. Now, ah, that six sees that nine. This is the seven and this is the nine. <laughs> really is a nightmare. Seven here by Sudoku by Row Logic. And that seven sees that eight. This becomes the eight. Sorry, this is a really long video, everyone. I know it's not my normal shtick. But one and four go in there, and that one means that's the one and that's the four. Man, it would be easy to get these backwards. Five, six, and nine go in here. There's no six here. Terrified I've missed something. Or even worse, got something wrong. One, two, three, four, five, seven, and nine go in there. Now that eight sees that, so that's not the seven. Actually, there's no seven here either because of that seven. I could have just used the column. 
That eight sees down. That's the five. So this is the nine. This is the seven. There we go. Now I've got, that makes this five and this seven. So that becomes high. The five looks up taking five out of there, but that becomes a seven, eight pair. Which I can mark as high, but I'm not sure what to do beyond that. So these are five, six, and nine. That nine means that's not six. <laughs> Head melter. Five, six pair, that's a seven. So this is five and this is six. There's no five there. These are high. Seven, six. Finding the digits that reach far enough. This five means this is not five. Six or nine. So what is this column? One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, and nine. Well, that's not six. So these are basically just six, seven, eight, nine across the top. And there's no six or eight up here. This is seven or nine. This is a high digit as well. Seven or nine. Ah, it's the six it means that can't be nine. That's seven. Which looks back making this eight and this seven. The eight looks back meaning that's not eight. I've got a six, nine pair. I should have marked that as high earlier. Six, nine pair. This is still a nightmare to scan. This nine means there's no nine here. This is five or six. So this is five or nine? Oh, is there going to be a trick at the end, like a nightmare-based Y-wing? So let's mark the high digits. So fives can go in those, but they don't help me. Oh, that's a six, nine pair. So that's a eight. I could have used the five, nine pair for that. What does that eight do? Nothing. Because I think I've got all the sevens. And I've got all the eights now. So, sixes and nines feed off each other. I'm trying to find a nine or a six that sees an open pair. Okay, so what I need is something... Like one of those has to be six, but that doesn't work. I can't use that like one of those has to be six, so that can't be a nine. So nothing can see this because So these are all five, six, nine. So I can't make it that the sixes and the nines see each other. So how do I do this without casing? person who sent this to me saying it was a two-star puzzle. So...
if this is a six, this becomes a nine. If this is a six, this is a six. This is a six. This becomes a five, this becomes a nine, this becomes a nine. That's all fine. If this is a nine, this is a six. Like if there were two nines here, I could see it. Because then, no, even that doesn't do it. Okay, yeah, it's a nightmare-based Y-wing. That's really tricky. If this is 6, this becomes 9, and now neither of those cells can be 9. So if this is a 6, that's a 9. That 6 means that can't be 9, and that 9 means that can't be 9, and you cannot place 9 in box 4. That can't be 6, that's a 5. That's a 9, that's a 6. That's a 9, that's a 5, that's a 6. That's a six, that's a nine, that's a five. And who the puzzled link that was sent to me also did not include a solution. So I don't even know if it's right. So I don't know if I'll upload this puzzle at all anyway. Yeah, you may see this. I don't know. Um, we'll see how it goes. Um, if you do, thank you everyone for watching and yeah, um, I don't know where my next puzzle will be. Good luck with your solving.